Okay, so one of my clients, Tom, ordered a Game of Thrones style sconce. It's a candle sconce, and uh, it really turned out cool, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's a two-part sconce. I made it so that it comes apart, and you have two different pieces. So step one is to make the actual stand, and step two is to make the actual torch that sets in there. Now, this is just a candle sets in there, but um, he wants two more of them, and I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how to make them. He has a Scottish theme down in his basement, so I came up with a Celtic cross as the actual holder for this candle stand. So I kind of drew up the actual cross and how I'm gonna cut it to make sure that I get an exact left and an exact right is you go ahead and make a template and you divide the template in half. That way when you draw it out, this is one side, mark your center, flip it over and it's the exact same cross on the exact same side. So I've got it laid out here on the piece of steel, uh, drew it all out and I'm getting ready to plasma cut it. I have the cross cut. Uh, as you can see, there is a ring that connects all the arms on the cross. I have this left over from another job, so I'm gonna use this as a template. So I'm just gonna clamp this down to a piece of steel and use my plasma cutter and just trace the ring. So when the ring gets cut out of the same material, it'll get welded on the back side like so. The ring on the actual candle holder itself, I hammered it for the actual finish on the anvil. So when you see when you cut it, you're gonna have some imperfections. You're gonna have parts where it might have come off. So you just take a hard wheel and a grinder and just clean it up a little bit. Uh, some spots where your actual plasma torch might have jumped over and cut into it. Just put a small weld on there, grind it back, and then you're just gonna get it as, as good as you can get it. It's a medieval type candle holder, so it doesn't have to look like it's laser cut, otherwise I'd use a laser. So it's old world, so the rougher the better. The cross itself is cut, plasma cut from quarter inch steel. Uh, there's a really cool trick you can use to make the material look thicker than it actually is, is take a, your plasma torch on its edge and do a bevel cut so it looks like it's actually a thicker material than it actually is. So you have quarter inch. So I have my basic shape. I'm gonna line my torch tip up with the corner and just kind of blow out that material so you see all the torch marks that you have in here to makes it look really old. So you can see this line right here is kind of the before. And this line right here, I've taken the torch and probably put it on a 40 degree angle and blown it back. So what that does is push through all the material and you can really see how it cut back. Now I leaned it a little bit further back right here and it kind of wandered on me a little bit, but it just, it makes it look thicker, gives it more of a three dimensional effect. Another real easy way to make something look a little bit thicker and more three dimensional is by adding some extra trim pieces. When I was doing it originally, I had the cross um, and it just seemed to me like it needed something more other than that. So what I did was I took some quarter by one inch flat stock um, and then put it in the forge, heated it, hammered the edges. And then what I did was I plug welded it on the surface of my cross. My plug weld, I drilled a hole and then from the back side I welded it so you can't see any weld marks over here. So you just drill a hole, put your one inch piece on here, weld it from the back and it'll stay on. So it was just another thing that I made it look a little bit more three dimensional is what I wanted because the candle when it's lit will show up a bunch of the shadows and I just thought it would look really cool. Now I have all my components from my cross. Everything's getting done. It's getting welded up. It's getting forged. Everything's going in the forge to give it that old world look. So now I have to have the standoff for the actual candle torch to stand. Um, I'm a huge component of reusing material. I have a bunch of old job material stuff left over. So I'm gonna use some of this uh, three quarter solid hammered bar and put a twist to it and weld it to the actual cross itself. And how you wanna determine how far away to make your arm, you have to have the actual candle. Uh, I have a two inch candle, so I know that my candle is gonna be 
you know, however far off you really want. It's, it's your call. So I only went about two and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this bar and I'm going to give about four or five twists and then cut a section that I like. It's about to temperature. I just need a couple of real simple twists. That's good enough. it's only going to be about a two inch section that holds that stem out. Should be good enough. I'll probably use about from about there to there. So I don't need to twist the whole thing. It's just a waste of effort.